Houston has to throw alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. There's a straight right hand. Blocks that belt line well. Good right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. You gotta love the offense there, putting his punches together. That's just good, solid, accurate work by Eddie Chambers. Nice strike after catching one by Barnett. How about a return to center with the left hand? So, Teddy, here we have a power puncher against a fast and speedy fighter. What are some of the first things you look for in a matchup like this? Well, I'm looking for the fast guy to stay on the outside when there's distance. You can use that speed. You don't want to be cramped where the other fighter can use his power. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Barnett. Good job staying away from the danger there. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Oh, what a power punch by Chamber. Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. He got rocks. He just got rocks. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Barnett's defense is paying off now. Eddie Chambers is putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination score. Very nice work to the head, the right hand landed. Shot. Now he gives a left. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Barnett. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by bad intentions. Defense there. That was a fine block by Eddie Chambers. That's Eddie Chambers with a big left hand. End of round one. Eddie Chambers' his corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Barnett's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Oh! Big uppercut right on the mark. That's a well scored left hand by Barnett. Barnett's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No. He understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover and they're jumping on him, figuring that their opponent hasn't recovered. Fast Eddie Chambers firing off the jab. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on. A shooting right hand by Barnett. Good defensive skill. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Look at the mess in the ring right now. Eddie Chambers' cut is just painting himself red. Yeah, it's a good thing, at least we think, that judges are not influenced by the way a fighter looks. Because if they were, no rounds are going in his favor. And now he brings 
the left hand upstairs. Barnett's strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just what it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. Low place jab by bad intentions. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Barnett. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good fighting, snapping shot by Barnett. A knifing left hand by Bad Intention. had a very busy week. You've been training some pro football players this week. There are many parallels to be made between the pro fight game and the pro football. Yeah, there are. You know, physical ones and emotional and mental ones. I mean, the physical ones are when I work with some of these behemoths, you know, like offensive linemen. They have to punch out, you know, with their arms. They have to make sure that they get those hands out now. If they raise their elbows, just like a fighter raising his elbow before he throws the jab, they lose the power. So you gotta teach them to keep those elbows in, punch out without any telegraph, without any loss of power, and also get those hands out at the right distance. If they're a little late, the big guy gets in on them, and now he can control him. And of course, the mental aspect of it, where they get into those dark rooms we talk about every once in a while, where they have to remember that they have control. They can make the choice. You know, you get in those dark rooms, you start to see that you lose control of the choice, that your opponent's making a choice for you. No, that's not the truth. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Eddie Chambers. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Barnett. Bad intentions is doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there's a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire right back with one of his own. Good work by Barnett. position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there and that's land a good solid jab oh and there he lands the right hand well wow big uppercut comes home and he's down too much and you gotta wonder about the repercussions down the road for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore saying thanks for being with us